Hi there, my name is Greg Laxton and I'll be highlighting a few key aspects of Markov's 2019 interim results. Markov has a weight of 0% in the Dow Jones Global Titans 50 index and we have an underweight recommendation. The group is currently trading at a PE of 27.3 times, well above its 15 year average of 23.3 times despite the high contribution of investment earnings in the current period results. However, the earnings figures are distorted and are of little use to an investor and we feel that growth in NAV is more appropriate. Short-term insurers can be seen as leverage investment trusts and therefore NAV and average growth in NAV are important metrics. The group is currently trading at a 50% premium to its NAV and with the mid single digit return on equity growth Achieved over the past 10 years, the share appears to be fully valued. Results going forward are likely to be constrained given the slowing favorable reserve development and with the recently inverted US yield curve, investment results are likely to be subdued. As an underwriter of long-tailed liabilities, the last reserves are estimates of future claims expectations and these take a long time to mature. Further, how they and how new business progress will play a material role in valuation due to the impact on shareholders' equity. Regulatory investigations into CATCO are overshadowing the alternative capital businesses that are showing promise. Investors are electing to redeem capital and CATCO is unlikely to remain a going concern. The debt to capital ratio is up 100 basis points to 26%. The new credit agreement will provide up to 300 million for future acquisitions, investments and stock repurchases. Management believes there is sufficient liquidity to meet any capital requirements. The operating revenue is up 37% to 4.91 billion. This is largely due to a 1 billion gain in investment results. The adjusted EPS was up 66% to 1,965 cents per share, with ROE improving slightly from 0.2% to 2.3%. The NAV improved by 10% to 75.21 billion, and net written premiums grew by 10.63% to 2.78 billion thanks to 200 million increase from insurance and a 60 million increase from reinsurance. Management aims to maintain prudent levels of liquidity and financial leverage. The results of Brexit may adversely impact the business processes of Markel International Insurance and of Lloyds. As a result, the group has established an operation in Munich in order to ensure business continuity with EU members. The insurance industry works in cycles where everybody is making underwriting profits and then in order to gain market share premiums are reduced. However, this then leads to underwriting losses. The premiums received are used to enhance the returns on shareholder funds as they are invested until such time as claims need to be paid. The graph shown here shows that peer group combined ratio indicates that strong underwriting results have been realized in the past. Before I end off, if you would like to trade, then please contact our trading desk. Investors are reminded that they can refer to our online trading platform, which contains a more in-depth analysis on Markel's 2019 interim results. For more information on how to interpret a trade idea, visit the event section on psg.co.za to access previous trade ideas and how to understand the method of analysis we use. Lastly, I would like to bring your attention to the following disclaimer. Thank you very much.